What's up guys? Franchise here. Yeah. Alright, so tonight we're going to uh, be opening up my PSA submission. I got it back in the mail today. Um, that's my six free cards I got for uh, joining the membership. And I'm also going to be opening up, I got in the mail today, um, Tops Alan Ginter 2020 cards. So we're going to take a look at those cards. Um, see what we got inside here. Some pretty cool cards in there. Some weird cards in there also. Um, but this is what I'm most excited about. Uh, these cards I sent out, two of them. A Luca card and a Bryce card were my newest ones in there. But then the rest of them were just kind of old ones that I've had for a long time. And I just wanted to send out uh, to get a grade in. So the, I'm not really expecting any of the grades. I, I haven't even looked at any. Like obviously this thing's sealed pretty good. And, uh, and I know you can look up on your PSA, but I want it to be a surprise uh, on what these grades are. I'm assuming that uh, the Luca and the Bryce card are probably my best ones. Um, I did do an Atom Bomb card. That one was not in too good a shape, but it was Atom Bomb. I just kind of wanted that cased up. Uh, so anything over probably a six is probably... Or seven is probably good. I don't know. Um, I do have an error C3PO card I, I put in there. And what else? I think it was a Wayne Gretzky. And I don't even know what the other one was I sent out. I don't know. We'll have to open it up and see. Might have been a football. I think I tried to do every sport. All right. So we're going to look at them. Like I said, I think probably two of them were probably... Decent grades. The other ones I'm not expecting very high grades on. So we're going to get to that last. But I want to open up this Allen Ginter. Let's see what we have here. This just came out. Um, Tops released it. And I bought it from Tops.com. And this blaster box sold out in a day. So I got two of them. Get right to it, guys. I'm not wasting any time. Forty-eight cards in there, seven packs, six cards a pack. And there's some odds. I think the short print might be above three hundred. Any number above three hundred. There's some autos and relics. Let me see if I can angle this camera down a little bit. Phillies did good their first game today. 7 nothing over Blue Jays. Six inning, or seven inning game. All right, so here's our cards. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now seven packs plus one extra pack. So I'll just say eight packs. All right, so here we go. We'll take a look at these cards. See what we got here. Looks like something's goofy in there already. We got a Mauer. This is a mix of new and old. Oh, there's a oh, there's an auto right there. Garver. It's a mini card inside a frame. What's his first name? Mitch. Yeah, Mitch Garver. Nice. Put that to the side. Uh, Monster cards, where monsters live. This is one monster that lives in the swamp. So these are like the weird cards that are in there. And they got farm cards in there. Down on the farm. So here is the farmer. Interesting. And Mikhail Franco. All right. Nice, I got that auto. I don't think it's guaranteed in this in the blaster boxes. Nyquist. So this is um, I think Ryan Nyquist, right? Yeah. BMX biker, Ryan Nyquist. So we got BMX guys in here. A lot of little subsets. Pretty cool. Oh, there's an Aristides Aquino rookie card. We got the label down there. 
kind of down, mixed right in with the uh, border. Nice rookie. Carrie Wood, that's an old one there. Uh, I'll put him with, put that with the bases. Oh, Jesus Lozardo, rookie mini card. There we go. Nice. This might be a hot blaster box. And then we got Digging Deep. This is a, a rock collection card set. So we have a, a skateboard set, a rock set, a farming set, and I think there's music, musicians in here too. So we'll do the rocks. And then we have Jim Tomey. You may get lucky and find these in the stores. I don't know. Stores have been pretty weird lately. I'll slide this out. We have here Mazzaro, Willie Stargell, Ernie Banks. So, this is my older guy's card. Reyes, Mini, and back. Down on the farm, we got a bale of hay, interesting, and a Tanaka. So that pack was kind of a dud. We'll be getting to that PSA submission quickly. We'll see what grades I got. And like I said, I'm going to try to put a mass submission in for my people that bought cards from me on uh, my pack rips. I'll meet, we'll meet up somewhere. I'll pick a spot. You can stop in and enter your cards in and we'll send them out. We'll see how I'm going to figure out a way to do it. There's Meadows, Armin Killebrew, Doc Gooden. All right, so we got a sperm whale, Behemoths Beneath. A lot of interesting cards. Thurman Munson. And AJ Puck with you. Okay. My dogs love barking when I'm down on this. Uh, ripping these cards open. Okay. Try to keep it clean as I go here. Didi Gregorius. He's having a nice year. Lindor, I might see that. Going out to spring training again. So I might put together a dorky card book and see if we can get some players to sign them. I went out to Philly spring training. All right, Philly's and Blue Jays up again. Lindor, Flaherty, uh, Die, is that Jermaine Die? Cecil Fielder, long ball lure. A 520 foot homer. Let's take that in the And this is Cowan. That's uh, Andy Cowan. Uh, my wife might like this car. I'll have to give this to her. He does that host for, um, what is it, Real Housewives? He's the host for Real High Housewives. I'll put that aside for her. She can put that in her collection. I don't know what, what are kiss cards that I got her. Couple more packs left. Harvey, Machado, Ordonez. Go back. Another a mini AJ Puck rookie. That's good. Any rookies are good. Uh, Louis Tiant. And Olsen. He's had, I think, a good year also. If you look at the back of the cards, like the stats are written out. So games played, they actually write out 359 runs, 149. So they write out the numbers. Moving on. Let's go the wrong way. My trash can's over here. Yamamoto, rookie. Nice. Keep throwing the rookies at me. Anderson. Tim Anderson. Andy Johnson. 
This is nine ways to first. Fielder's interference will get you to first base. So it has a little subset of nine ways you can get to first base. That's pretty cool. And then we have building cards. The lock to center. And, uh, we'll put that with the, um, the rocks. And then we have Scurry, soccer player, it looks like. And... Yep, U.S. Women's Soccer Team, 94, scary. So we'll put her in the subset. Got one more pack, and then we're going to get to the PSA. My battery's getting low, figures. I'm going to bring my charger down. Let's stick that over there. Dubon, rookie. Nice Cole Hamels. Oh, Tommy Lasorda. What do we have here? Oh, Jorge Soler. A nice player right there. Uh, Jade. We have a Jade for a Stone and Goldschmidt. All right. So that is my blaster box. These are my rookies and my hits. Not bad. Two pucks. Regular and a mini. Rosardo. Aquino. And there's my hit. Mitch Garver Auto. One card auto. Can't beat that. Alright, so we're going to stick these to the side, and then we're going to do the PSA submissions, my PSA submissions. These are cards that I like, no particular reason. Uh, next time I send out, I'm actually going to try to send out ones that are worth a lot of money. Let's see. This thing's wrapped pretty good. I don't even know how you even get into this. I'm just going to start off by, I don't even know how I would even cut this. I'm probably going to run out of battery by the time I open this up. All right, let's see. Let's see what we got here. All right, I see box. All right, so there's part of the box there. I think I sent these out in July. So, I mean, that's not too bad of a turnaround. I send it... When you send it in, there's different levels. I just send it in as the free economy level. Oh my God. Come on. This is my first ever PSA submission, guys. So this is pretty cool for me. I usually just buy the PSA already graded cards. Let me see. PSA definitely takes care of how they box this thing. I got my tops box today of the uh, Allen Ginter cards and it was it was busted open. I thought maybe they were gone. But it looks like the tape just broke. I don't know. Uh, we're getting there. All right. All right, there we go. Oh, here we go. There they are. The six cards. Let's see. All right, so I want to put them upside down. Nice. Now I do have to buy team pat team bags that are kind of oversized to protect this plastic. So we got a nice soft cloth here. We'll put it down here. So the first one looks like it is my Star Wars card. So I'm gonna go with um, get it. So this is you see C3PO error card right there. Looks like he has a, a male genital sticking out. Um, they got rid of that card. This one I didn't think was going to be too high. I'm not showing you. I'm not looking. I'm looking at my phone, so I haven't even looked at it yet. Um, but I think the centering really messed this one up. I don't know. So it's a six. So this one got a PSA six. Uh, at least it was confirmed that it was a real error card and not a fake. I bought this one separate online. 
Let's see. Yeah, I'll get this thing here. This little stand. I'll stand them up. There's some trash here. Next one. Oh, this is a Wayne Gretzky card. I knew this one was going to be a little rough because there's wax on the back. You can see wax. So I didn't, I'm not expecting something high. I don't know. We'll see what it is. Uh, but it is a Wayne Gretzky card, an earlier one. Um, so I thought the front looked good. I thought the centering looked good. It does have a little spot there. Let's see what it is. A four. Man, that's terrible. All right, so Gretzky got a four. So this will probably be this would be more valuable if it was encased. But I like this card, and I want it. This thing is productive. Good now. Next one. Oh, so this is my 1909. This is my 1909 Piedmont. This is uh, my Vic Willis card I've had forever. This is in rough shape, but I like how see how it's nicely placed inside. So now I know this is protected. I was. I'd always put it in a, in a card, a sleeve, and it would slide around. I didn't want that anymore. So mainly I just paid for the casing. So hopefully nobody saw that. So there's the front. You can see it's rounded corners, off-centered, but now it is protected very good. And that's a two, so which isn't too bad from 1909. A two, a lot of times they come out authentic, so I'm kind of happy with a two with that. Not too bad. I'm not sure what the value of a two is. All right, so this is my atom bomb. This one here. And this one's anything above a seven, which I'm praying for, but I'm not feeling good about it after seeing the Gretzky at a four and, the, and a six and a two. So, but this is my atom bomb. All right, I thought it looked pretty good, like centering wise. I think I bought this for like thirty dollars, thirty-five dollars. So let's see what my atom bomb is. Eight. All right, so hey, we got something here. I think anything above a seven, like if you look online, any anything above a seven has some value. So eight's right there. So that's this may be one of my prized possessions right here. It's pretty cool. I do have a Blasted Billy one, an A, an 8B to send out that I think looks actually better than this. But I just wanted to get Atom Bomb cased up. But I am definitely happy with an 8 for Atom Bomb. And that is uh, the cheaters list. See, I don't think it would be that high with that little mark there. I thought that would kind of ding it, but I don't know. I guess not. And once they're in these cases, they, they're official, so now I can list these right on eBay if I want it to. I'm not going to list these because these are my originals. All right, so here's my Bryce Harper. This is a green variation. This is his rookie. Um, I do have two Bryce Harper rookies, not this. I have tops. So this is a Bowman Chrome green. Um, my other two are tens. So I'm hoping to get a Bowman Chrome. This one I felt real good about. I measured the borders and I, I couldn't see a difference in any of the borders going around. Um, so I felt real good about this one. So it's a 10. That's This is what I expected. This one in the Luca, I'm expecting a 10 or at least a nine because a nine is still valuable. Um, but I think this in my Luca should be a 10, all right? So that's what I thought. So good job, Bryce Harper. GMS, uh, PSA 10, Green X Factor. Sweet. And my last one is my Luca rookie. This is a Raider rookie Dunruss. It's not the optic, it's just a regular Dunruss rookie. Luca. And I'm hoping that this is a 10. I'm staring at the camera just like you guys. And. Please be a 10. Please be a 10. Please be a 10. Please be a 10. Oh, 9. All right, so 9's not bad. 9 is still something that if I wanted to sell it, I could sell it. Um, so it gives it more value. 
when you're looking at graded cards like this, seven and below, you're better off just not getting them graded and selling them raw. Uh, if you get an eight, nine, or 10, then that's definitely gonna be more than if you sold them raw. So a nine's not bad. I'll have to see what nines are going for, um, just for my own thing, but I'm not selling this Luca. I'm gonna keep him, and hopefully he keeps going up every year. So that's good. All right, so here's my PSA submission. We got the Luca came in as a nine. Harper came in as a 10. Adam Bomb, my surprise, came in as an 8. My 77 Star Wars C-3PO error card came in as a 6. And then my terrible, not terrible, but 86 Gretzky came in as a 4. But it did have the wax damage on the back. And my 1909 Vic Willis came in as a two. So, all right, guys. So that's what it's like when you get your cards back from PSA. Like I said, I'm, my guys that bought from me before my pack rips, I will definitely be trying to put something together where we can have a meetup, um, where you can stop by. And if there's any cards that you want to get sent out and get graded, uh, we'll figure out the cost and stuff like that. And... We'll just send them out to get together. And then when they come back in, I'll do, I'll open them up just like this of all of our cards. All right, guys. All right. Until then, I'll talk to you on the flip side. See you guys later. Have a good night. Let me set these up here.